Here we are at Maidstone, and I'm joined by uh, Christian Jolly. Uh, we gave a good performance over those two games, and I de- dare I say it, we we didn't deserve to lose that, did we? Well, they done it. They, they put the ball in the back of the net more times than we did. I think of course, that's, um, yeah. That's what Geffa highlighted after the game. We're all a bit deflated, and we matched them. Our performance was it felt good out there. We weathered the storms that they threw at us, and um, and we imposed our our style of football. And I think we influenced most of the game, but we just um, just the edge just weren't clinical in the final third, and and we got punished for it, which which is disappointing. We're um, we've come a long way of recent, and we've got a, a standard within within the club now, and our performance matched that standard today, but the result didn't. And we need to make sure that both both points are met every every time we play. So yeah, we're um, we're disappointed. Uh, I and mean, that's a very good point. And I think the other thing that came through again was the fighting spirit because we we fought back, you know, on a couple of occasions and sort of you know yeah. the fight fighting spirit was there. But I can tell you, you're you're, you're disappointed to have yeah lost it at the death. Really, when, when you when you give everything, everyone left everything out there, um, and and it and you don't get the result then yeah it's a bit demoralising but we've got to take take pride for the fact that they're uh, they're playing in a better division than we are they're um, they're a good team I think I think their um, their position in their league doesn't reflect the quality that they've got in their squad and we need to um, we need to take the positives that we were we were fantastic for you know what I mean 90 plus extra times so we take that we regroup and, and we recover and then we we go back into it again on Saturday and and uh, try and impose ourselves the same way. And again, very solid at the back. For, you know, the, the the back four, is, as has been in recent games, looked very solid. Some great intricate stuff in midfield, wasn't there, and getting it down the wings. And as you say, it's probably just that final third that let us down. Yeah, exactly that. I think from from front to back, we we were we were good. I can't say we were brilliant because we just conceded the goals that we conceded and we've missed the chances that we, well, we've missed but it's a team thing. We defend as a team, we score as a team and it all went in for us at, at Western and, and it didn't all go in for us the last the last couple of fixtures against Maidstone so we go again. Yeah, yeah. We've got, we got to find the silver lining and we look strong today. We're not a full-time outfit and we match them minute for minute and if anything... They were they were hanging on more so than we were. We were we were really pushing to try and finish the game off early doors. So, so yeah. um, obviously a disappointing defeat. But already talking, there are positives to take from it in terms of what how far it's shown that we've come in the last two or three months. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we we showed them adequate respect, but we got in faces. We made things difficult. They had spells, but we weathered that, which shows great maturity considering we've got a young young team and we excelled at points all the way up to the final third we could have scored some fantastic goals Hodge's goal today was was brilliant we worked it well down the left wing Nicky Wheeler made a massive impact coming off off the bench and and we sort of got our our noses in front as such we we had the impetus but we just weren't able to to be clinical when we really needed it so I suppose time to the next few days shake it off get ready and it's time, relentless now isn't time it? to recover yeah we've got a busy busy Christmas as we're all aware and we've got to do our best to, to make sure that we're um, we're fighting fit and, and give Gaffer a headache in, in selecting his team because we know we've got big big games coming up no one wants to sort of you have to sacrifice your Christmases because we've got a fixture every other day basically and you don't want to sacrifice to not be in the team so everyone's on their metal yeah. and ready to to make sure that Gaffer puts them in the starting eleven and, and you keep your shirt. Brilliant. Thank you, Christian. Safe trip home. Thank you very much.